31 days. 26 illustrations. 5 songs. 1 challenge. Marches Onus. The month. The myth. The legend. It's all been leading up to this. It's all been leading up to this. I'm preposterous Miss Bradley. And you're watching one final glow up video. One final day in this challenge. One more day to amend and avenge unfinished illustrations. One video to rule them all. Hi guys, welcome back. As I said, I'm Preposterous Miss Bradley, and this is my final March's Honest video. How and where has this month gone? I cannot believe it. So like I promised yesterday, and as I said dramatically a moment ago, today I decided for my final March's Honest, I decided it would be another glow up video. Take some of the stuff I've already done, especially because there were a few pieces in there I really wanted to be finished, and finish them. Uh, and then record it so you guys can see one hour versus, you know, the rest of the time taken. This time, I didn't limit myself to just 45 minutes per piece. Partially because I forgot to on Koya, which I started with her. You'll see her at the end because why not give the best finale? And partially because I couldn't make myself spend more time on Coraline. <sighs> It had a lot of potential and I really like the line art and the the sketch for the most part. Um, the more I look at it, the less I like it. Mostly I just wasn't vibing with the, the, the color palette and just the way I was coloring it. So I gave up on that one really quickly. Very sorry for that. Also, I had already started to do Make a Peach Pearl because I had just wanted to finish her. And then like I got caught up in March's Honest and I haven't gotten back to her. So I decided to go ahead and finish her today. Last time you saw her, she was just a sketch. Um, a very, uh, in my opinion, hmm, my very high opinion, a very good sketch, but she wasn't even line art. Uh, so you didn't get to see me do line art and base colors, but I decided to play around with her. I thought she was less finished than she actually was when I opened it, but I decided to mess around and I was only going to go for like 15 or 20 minutes and it was, uh, ended up being like almost 40 minutes, but I'm really happy with it. I didn't think that mixing purple on top of the orange would make the shadows pop so much but color theory guys sometimes it works I feel like I might have spent more time on Vanellope but I also felt like I was running out of time a little bit like I've mentioned a few times before I do go to conventions mostly locally and sell my art there and make prints and a lot of these I do want to turn into prints and if I was to do that with this Vanellope one I would spend more time on it but for what this challenge is and for everything I think I spent quite enough time I think that one I accidentally ended up spending like over an hour I think I liked it better as line art and maybe I will take some of my line art. Uh, I know that my friend really wants to make coloring books. Maybe I will take a lot of these, just the line art and make it into a, like a little coloring book to sell at cons and maybe online. If I get any interest about that, there's uh, maybe just coloring pages for free download. We'll see. Maybe that'll be a perk in my Patreon. I feel like the same problem happened with Lapis that happened with Vanellope though. I was kind of tired. I just didn't feel, I was trying to rush and get this done because I spent so much time on the others. And I still don't feel like she's completely finished, but she's at a good spot. Again, if I was gonna make prints of her, I would uh, keep going. I would make it more, I don't know. I got bored. I'm sorry. I don't have that much of an attention. I don't have that great of an attention span. I have severe ADHD and I had already been working all day on her. I think she was the last one I actually did. Koya, however, I did her last night. And so I didn't mean to spend over two hours on her, like two and a half hours or something like that. But like, look at her, look at her design. She was really fun to work on. And I listened to Lilo and Stitch while I was working on her. And I just had way too much fun and I got way too into it. 
but that's just the way it goes. I am so, so happy with how this one turned out with the background, even though it's simple, it's still really pretty, I think, with the coloring. And I was gonna end with just flat colors and maybe a highlight. And then I was like, no, I wanna see what uh, shadows will look like. And then that just like popped off. I couldn't believe how good it looked with the shadows in it. Sorry, I'm like over here tooting my own horn, but I'm really excited and really happy over it. And I feel like that is such a strong piece to end on. My goal this month was to get my speed up. Did I do that? Maybe. <laughs> it's still really hard to tell whether I got consistently my speed up because I don't think I was very consistent at all. Did I prove to myself that I can put out good art quickly? Yes, undoubtedly. I didn't think that I could do such good work so quickly because I spend forever and drag my feet and get distracted. And I always see like an episode of a, of a show will come out and like less than an hour later, these amazing pieces of fan art are out or even just the next day. And I'm like, how did, how did you find time between watching that episode and today to make this incredible piece. And now I know that I have the capability to do that. I just need to do it. What other goals cropped up while I was doing this challenge? Well, music recording came up. I've never really recorded music before. I have, but not with my own instrument and with my own voice and mixing sound together and editing. That is crazy. I am not a sound mixer. That was really hard. What's another goal that I came up with during this was to do daily videos. I didn't think that I could do daily videos, especially not. I'm just used to putting up, like I'm not even used to doing a voiceover after most of my animations. I think I've only done it after one, but I'd have to go back and look. I didn't know that I had the ability to put out a video every single day with a thumbnail, with voiceover, with music, with an actual full on drawing. Honestly, it's all, like it's been a lot of work. This one hour a day drawing challenge has turned into about five hours a day as a job. But it's also kind of gotten me the kick in the pants that I've needed to have the confidence to actually consider doing a Patreon, actually consider putting out videos on a consistent, more consistent schedule. We'll see how long that lasts. But, and it's given me the confidence to know that I can work on my, that I can work on my own art and follow through. I really want to thank Mark and Ethan for this. I don't think they're watching any of my videos. Let's be honest. So many other people are doing so many more cooler things than I am. Like a lot of people are actually developing new skills. And I think that was more of the challenge. But I still want to thank Mark and Ethan for this, for somehow lighting a fire under my butt and getting me to do something with my life for a full month. Be consistent with it. I also want to thank once again, all of my subscribers, everyone who's liked and commented on my videos, all of my new subscribers. I don't think I got too many, but I don't care. I do care because you guys are awesome. Thank you for being here. But I don't, I didn't do this to like gain a lot of subscribers. That wasn't the goal. And I know I already thanked Duke and Red Heat Studios yesterday for, uh, for commenting on all of my videos too and being here with me. But thank you guys again. You guys are fantastic. Okay, I love you guys so, so much. I am gonna miss your faces, but I plan on putting out another video soon. What's today? I will definitely have another video up by Thursday. All right? All right. I love you guys so, so much. I will see you Thursday. Remember, memento mori, unis honest.